Hello everybody, welcome to the Kama Team channel, uh, I'm your host Wiz, and what you're seeing right now is me playing Airsoft at Combat Pursuit in Pickering, alongside with uh, Daryl from uh, Pixel Parasite, I almost said Daryl does games, I guess it's Daryl does Airsoft, and Adrian from Toronto Airsoft. So we're playing a Combat Pursuit, and this is actually my first outdoor game. I have played a little bit of Airsoft before, but those experiences were not really good. Uh, it just, they just weren't very good. But uh, this, this uh, session I had at Combat Pursuit, despite not getting any kills or winning any rounds, uh, I could still had fun uh, playing it. Although it could be a lot better, though, uh, as I learned from playing uh, from playing this session. So I'll explain what the game type we're doing right now. Uh, it's red versus blue, but before that, uh, I do this little charge right here where I trip on the ground a bit because there are actually holes in the ground, and I end up dropping my uh, King Arms M4A1, Colt M4A1, by the way. So while I not so while I uh, rip out my kill rag and walk my way back to my spawn point, I will tell you what the game is. It's a 15-minute game where there's a bomb in the center of the map that you gotta deliver to the other side of the team to score your way to victory. Now I'm gonna spoil what happens um, for the entire session that I stayed at Combat Pursuit is that almost all of them were draws. We lost one game, uh, which is uh, in a later game that's, that happens. Oh yeah, so the games are 15 minutes long and uh, that air horn you heard, every five minutes uh, there will be an air horn that, to tell you how much time is left and to tell you um, when you know you're done in the waiting zone and you're ready to respawn. Now, if I leave the sound in, you'll hear me huffing and puffing a lot, and eh, it sounds like I'm out of shape. But uh, surprisingly, during the game, not really. I think it's more ventilation, if anything. But um, there is a bit of bit of me not being not being very good at our running oh yeah so adrian uh tripped it was pretty comical but yeah i huff and puff a lot pretty sure that was more from ventilation because i was kind of i was wearing body armor too and it made it kind of stuffy ironically enough um we had really good weather me and daryl was trying to set up a game to go at combat pursuit but the week we were going it was raining like hell and nobody showed up for airsoft <laughs> And uh, the second week that we were, we might have considered going was uh, Canada Day, and he, he already had plans. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna risk going here because it cost a hundred dollars just to go back and forth with, like a cab. So um, on that note, thank you, Adrian, for driving us there. You really helped us out. I wanna go that way now. So here we are trying to strategize, and like I said, we don't win any of the games. Um, what I did learn, and you'll probably figure this out from watching me play, is that I play really defensively, which is, which makes me really ineffective as a team player. Like, I really need to be more aggressive, and when you're playing Airsoft, you really need to learn to take one for the team sometimes. Like, yeah, sure, it, it kind of sucks, but by being more aggressive and, like, uh, moving forward, you'll, I feel like you'll get more done. Yes, I feel that you'll get more uh, done if you, you know, press on. Because the other team kind of pressed on, too. Along with a few other things, too. Such as uh, me sighting in my... Um, well, not sighting in. Adjusting the hop-up on my rifle. Because I didn't even know where I was shooting. Like, like you know, I, was, I was just shooting BBs. So, um, I needed to, to uh, set the hop-up better. And to also get a better sight or scope in this case because um i was oh yeah that guy over there that guy uh, works for run cam and uh, he was looking at our gopro stuff yeah uh daryl adrian and i all had gopro so we're all recording this daryl has his uh go has his uh video that he's posting on his channel uh, on Saturday, so, you know, go check out his perspective, which I will. Um, but yeah, that guy over there, the guy in the black SWAT suit on the right, not this guy. Uh, sorry, dude. Uh, he, he works for a run cam, and he was interested in, like, um, you know, working with us to, uh, give us, uh, run cams to use for scope cams. 
for uh, airsoft for doing airsoft, and we we're like, yeah, totally, that'd be cool, because uh, I wanted my next investment is to get a, a scope cam so you can see where I'm shooting and stuff, and give different perspectives during the game. That poor guy just got killed immediately after respawning. Uh, that happens quite a bit because the blue team pushed way too far into our position, so we just pretty much die as we uh, got out. So yeah, that was so random. The guy was just like, oh hey, he was looking at our GoPro, we talked about you know our video making stuff, and he was like, oh hey, you know we can work something out, and uh, we can probably do something with run cam, and maybe get you guys some run cams to uh, you know show off uh, how cool it is. And it was like, that was... My second investment was another was another camera to have like a camera facing towards me, the selfie, the selfie backwards cam, and a scope cam to see where my shots are going, or to see you know where I'm aiming and shooting, which would be a lot more fun because there's like three key shots to make a airsoft video more interesting is to have the head cam, the gun facing backwards cam, and the scope cam to see where you're shooting. So. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. And since we just randomly bumped into that guy, talking about video recording, we were pretty, me, uh, Dara and I were pretty excited. So going back to how I could have improved my game in here, because despite the fact that I really just suck at spotting people, uh, I, I, I think I actually do better in CQB than outdoors. But, you know, I want to play outdoors because it just sounds way more interesting to play. So I took the strat to go into this area in the woods. And I'm, like, oh, let's, I'm like, oh, let's change up the strat. Uh, could have worked out, but like I said, there were a plethora of, like, issues that I was having. One, I was wearing a metal mesh mask, which, uh, prevented me from fully looking down my iron sights. My red dot sight was apparently turned on for the duration that, um, you know, I had it at Daryl's place. Uh, and the battery died, and it was just like, fuck, it's completely useless right now. I can't even, I can't even use it normally, so... That really sucks ass, and I didn't bring any extra batteries because I was like, I was pretty sure I turned it off. Or maybe it got tur shuffled and turned on, like, you know, in the bag or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm getting a scope next time. So, A, I can see where I'm shooting, and B, just aim better. Now, what you're seeing on my gun right now is my uh, quick drop uh, 4X magnifier scope. It really didn't help. It helped in spotting some of the enemies, but it was not. It was not good for for um, as a sight to like shoot e to shoot at your target. No, it was terrible. So I I I didn't fix up my I didn't adjust my hop up. So that was a problem. I couldn't see where I was shooting. So that made it even worse. And uh, I and I played way too defensively, which uh, compiled together. I'm probably gonna lose more often than, than not, so... Uh, I do manage to spot one guy that's on the far... Not on the far left, he's like at my 10 o'clock... Uh, 9 to 10 o'clock position near the... These, uh, dark branches. Or not dark branches, this tree that's really dark. In the, in the left side, where... Uh, I was trying to shoot at him, but like I said, I didn't know where my BBs were flying. So... You know, I just like was it was just me back and forth trying to shoot at the guy, and I speed up the footage here because uh, this just goes on for a bit where I'm just like I'm trying to shoot at the guy. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to shoot at the guy. Just I don't know where my BB's going. Yada yada yada. It was just it was just all really really. Um, uh, it was not great. Like, but despite all this, I had I had fun in combat pursuit. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm gonna go there, go and play there again. By the time you see this video. So, um, and with all the, with some new stuff I added, I did get that scope I was talking about where, you know, when you look inside, it's, it's a scope with a reticle inside, so not relying on battery powered, uh, scope, so that's also like a thing, a, a tip you should consider is when you're getting optics, I would say the scopes are, out of all the other optics, the most useful, because you can... De depending on the on the si on the situation, you won't use a scope in an uh, indoor game or a close quarter. But uh, it would be really helpful to not have to, uh, you know, uh, worry about about relying on the batteries. Because like I said, that red dot side I, that I did bring was just completely useless. Because uh, you know, I didn't bring batteries. That it was just it, it sucks. If anything, I should have brought more bat. I, I should have brought a spare battery just in case stuff like this happened. But I was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. I can probably survive this. Uh, the only times you wouldn't use a scope is uh, when you're playing indoors and you would just get like a re uh, red dot sight. 
Because all the other sites, like, they're nice, but they're not vi they're not too vital. As long as you can see where your shots are going, which is the most important part, then, uh, you know, you should get that, those op, those, those types of optics. Also, know your range, because, uh, clearly I didn't, because, you know, I just saw my target, and I shot it, like, as if I was playing some first-person shooter. That's not how, that's not how, uh, you be an effective airsoft player. You really gotta, like, know your, the distance of your shot. Which, um, really, really made me consider... Actually, I've always considered getting a sniper rifle. I, I tried to look through this hole to see if I get get any advantage. I really considered getting a sniper rifle, which I think would also play pretty well. But for now, an, an A, the, an M4 AG is a good platform to start on. If you're starting airsoft, get an M4 AG and just you know play with it and see how it works out. If it's like, if it's like, oh hey, you know I prefer sniping, or oh hey I prefer a lighter gun and just getting close and shooting people, you'll find your preference because the M4 is more like a middle, middle ground uh, for you to start out on, so that you know what you want to get. For me, uh, you know, I like my King Arms Colt M4. I I want it in uh, mystery box that I'll talk about in uh, in an airsoft loadout. So I will definitely do that airsoft loadout uh, later after I done I'm finished with recording all of this, this and also editing and doing all that stuff. And uh, I really gotta thank Daryl for getting me back into the sport, but at the same time, damn you, Daryl! <laughs> I dropped so much. Apparently, I dropped um, quite a quite a bunch of quite a lot of money to um, to uh, get myself all set up. And I'm still looking back and asking myself, how did I spend most of this? Spend most of what I did. Ah, uh, let's see. Probably we'll talk about that in the air, in the airsoft loadout. But yeah, basically we weren't really doing that well in the game but uh like i said next time next time i will i will hopefully do a lot better hopefully get some kills i could have gotten that kill when i was on my second respawn and getting the other guy but that just didn't happen so remember to sight your scope sight your scope in and Make sure you properly prepare yourself to actually play. Oh yeah, I dropped my rubber knife somewhere, and uh, after this round, after this game, this particular game, me and him went and looked around for it, and I found mine, which was uh, good. So I think I'll end it on there, because uh, I'll end it on for this one. There is more that I will commentate later on, because uh, there are other games that ha that are happening, and I'll see if there's anything interesting. To commentate over there, and if not, I'll just post the raw footage of it, and um, uh, see what happens over there. Although I don't think that would be too interesting, because then it would you just, you just see 15 minutes of me like completely failing at this at this game, and just hearing me like sound like I'm out of shape. I bike and walk a lot, so I shouldn't be out of shape. But according to this video, it says otherwise. I'm probably ventilating if anything. But yeah, so. This is Al from Comma Team. Uh, if you like what you see, then you know, let me know, and all that stuff. And I will definitely record here, more here. Uh, uh, airsoft videos I, from various places over here. in the future. So, with that said, see you all next time. Bye.